you can start. Well, you got to come on in. Oh, I don't want to be too far away from my wine. <laughs> I don't even have to sue your insurance, but I, I, but I would. Oh, like you was, no, it's recording right now? Yeah, yeah stop that shit. No. We don't need any of that on the, uh, we don't need any of that. The authorization to put me out there. No, I haven't given up creative control. Okay, let's start. Can we just start We're over? We're starting out. No. I okay. Um, hey, everyone. It's Shakira. Welcome back to Glow Beauty Wellness here on YouTube. This is my mom. Hi. Yes, and she has a channel here on YouTube as well. So, uh, what's it called? Living with MS. In Texas. In Texas, because believe it or not, my mom has MS, um, but you would not know it if you, I mean, you're meeting her now. Um, but today, so this is a very random video. We both worked out looking bummy, like I didn't even change, but as the title states, we're going to be going over my Bumble profile and yours. Did you bring your phone? Okay. My Bumble profile matches and her Bumble profile matches because we were both just sitting while well, I was swiping and just looking and, um, we're confused. Like, <laughs> I'm confused as to what's going on in the world of dating. Like, never in my dating life have I seen such shenanigans. And, you know, I've been married twice, as I've told you all. My mom was married for 22 years. Right? Three. Get it 23 right. 23 years. Long years. Long to my dad. Unfortunately, they got a divorce. And so we are both dating. And I don't know how things were back in the day, but... I have always been like spoiled, high maintenance. I remember in high school, Gene, I told him this is my high school like sweetheart, um, and um, <clears throat> that was a crazy relationship. But I remember telling him that I wanted Godiva chocolates, and his stepmom was like Godiva. He told me that she said that Godiva. I'm like, what's wrong with Godiva chocolates? And I remember he he brought. I mean, anyway. Base, bottom line is is I've never had like I've never seen such BS on uh, online with online dating. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. For privacy reasons, I don't think that I'm gonna show you any pictures, but we're just gonna swipe through. I can't swipe because I've gone through all the losers in my feed. <laughs> she already bumbled. <laughs> okay, so hopefully, like, let's see. So Bumble, if you are unfamiliar, and I'm not. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that, but. I've done, okay, I'm swiping back on all these guys that were like, like, one thing is, is when you get on a dating profile, I've been in dating groups, and we women try to put ourselves out looking our best. Sure we do. Right? right. Like, I'm not going to put, this is what guys do. Like, they put pictures, like, equivalent to this, like, workout gear, like, like this, like showing their muscles and stuff like that. Like that is inappropriate. This is so raggedy and ratchet and ghetto. It, it's not even on, it's not even on Bumble because I've kind of since I divorced. First of all, I married very young, so I didn't do the whole dating thing that normal people do. So by the time I'm single and there's this, all these online options, and trust me, I have done probably almost all of them. I have done Match.com, eHarmony, I have done It's Just Lunch, and that one is, is pretty pricey. I have done, I'm doing the Bumble thing now. I have done, uh, let me see, did I say, I said eHarmony, Elite Singles. I've done Black People Meet. Christian Mingo. Back in the day, Plenty of Fish. No, I've not done Christian Mingo. I might need to do Christian Mingo. We can read it on Christian Mingo, y'all. <laughs> but I, I've done them all. I mean, I've done quite a few, and what you find, I think, that the men, a lot of the men, they just show up looking like they just, you know, crawled out of bed. Like this. Um, hey, girl. Wrinkly t-shirts. I I call it my entertainment. Because when I'm feeling <laughs> kind of down and I just want to go look at some of these profiles and chuckle. Girl. Because of the way they describe themselves as being fit when clearly you're not. Yesterday <laughs> we were what we were bumbling, and this guy older. I date older men because 
I have to date a gentleman. Like, the... You can find younger gentlemen, but that's a whole other... I haven't met any yet. Like, 45 and under is... uh, No. So, um, I have always dated older. And anytime I've tried to date someone my age, it just ends badly, you know? Because I don't know who raised you all. But anyway... um, (laughs) So, the guy was describing himself as active. He said he works out five to six days a week. I'm a trainer. Now, this is no shade to anybody that's overweight. Sir. I'm sorry. There's a difference okay. between stocky and muscular and fat. And Look, we, we know fat when we, we see we, fat. We're going to say he looked like he human looked stuttered. Fat. Rotund. And, run, and that's okay because there's somebody for everybody. And I don't mind. In the looks department, like, you don't have to be a 10. For me, it's about how you treat me. But, dude, you're lying. You don't work out five or six days a week. I'm a trainer. I know you are overweight. It's Rhett. Sorry. Stop it. It's Why my, don't you pick up my, my emotional support Come in. dog? Bring, it's quick, bring Rhett here. Issues. Okay, because this is like a just a, we're having fun on this video. So, Charles is cool, uh, but he wants Charles, talks. no, Rhett. Dogs are like kids. As soon as you start doing something, they want to. They want to interfere. Okay, so Charles is cool, but here's another thing I don't understand. Y'all don't be putting nothing on your profile. Nothing really, you know, and Charles is, we're going to swipe left on Charles. Okay. Another thing, another thing that we don't understand, we ladies don't understand. So let this video be kind of like, like if you're trying to date, you're a guy, you can't find, you know, your, uh, your, your princess, your queen, whatever. Here are some tips. Okay. Why don't put pictures of your children? I feel like y'all are putting pictures of your children because you want whoever is interested to know that you are about your children. I get it. But some of these kids look like grown women or like they could be an ex or something like that because nowadays you're seeing more younger women with older men. Um, not only that, there are creeps. That <laughs> there are creeps on the internet that somehow can capture that image of your children and mm-hmm. use it for their own Sick. sinister purposes. Yeah. So why would you even do that? To right. me, that's a turnoff. I it's I, weird. If you have kids and they're if they're young, I'm gonna swipe left anyway because I'm too old <laughs> for that. But if you have children and that's great that you're proud of your kids, but let's let's talk about that in the profile. And let's see pictures and maybe meet them later because you don't introduce everybody to your kids. And then Aster, anyway. Aster, you're not even telling us if this is your daughter. So sometimes men will, hold on. Yes, dude is looking like Put, he's all booed up. Right, like he's happy, you know. So sometimes y'all do this stuff. To, I don't know why, but me thinking to make women think you're that guy or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's like me posting pictures of me and my dad. Or me and my sons. That's weird. Stop doing that. Swipe left. Louis. Louis. Either way. <laughs> Hold on, I need my glasses. It could be Louis. Louis or Louis. Or it, Louis. It, it depends on how you want to pronounce it. It's Louis, but Hispanic Not a good might say Louis. He looks like. A, Why do y'all put pictures up looking your worst? No, like, it looks like a mugshot. Like he does. like you've been arrested for. I wish I could show these pictures, but okay. So Something sinister. Of course, I would like to fill the space of things all about me. Let's talk and see if we click. Let's meet for coffee. <laughs> coffee is not a date. So I follow. So we swipe and left. Now, this is the one I want to talk about. Tony. 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 Lead at General Motors. Okay. Coffee is not a date. I don't care who told you it is a date. I have... Watch videos of women dating coaches saying, go on coffee dates, go on coffee dates. I don't even want a coffee meet and greet because I have to get dressed. I have to put on my face, as I call it. This is this is workout. Coffee so night. this ain't, I ain't even nowhere close to what I would look like this on a date. This wig <laughs> costs more than a cup of coffee. Why would we agree to me? You forgot. Why you had to put me out there? They might have thought this was my hair. But that's <laughs> but that, yeah, this wig... Not only that, it's just my effort, and I've got to meet you somewhere. I have to get myself ready. I have to decide that I'm going to meet you. No, you got to do better than coffee. I'm not meeting you for a damn latte. Sir, 
I now I get it. This is the plight of the single man, right? Because if you're dating, you you know you're dating. Maybe you have a date every day of the week or every weekend. If you go to a decent restaurant, your bill is going to be at least one hundred and fifty dollars, maybe two hundred. You know, um, you do that every weekend, at least every Saturday. That's eight hundred dollars, right? I get it, but you should also have that budget set aside because. I look or the if, women that are gonna go to coffee with you, I don't mean any harm. If you can't afford to date, then don't date. To me, a date, I wanna go somewhere or date can, I don't mean to cut you off, or date the women that will be okay going to coffee. Right. I'm not okay with coffee. Neither I'm not you not I'm not showing up to sip on a latte with you. I would probably do a happy hour. And that's a meet and greet. To me, that's not a date. And that's just going to be something random where, we, where we're out and we meet each other. But if we've met each other online and you and we've had a little bit of an interaction through, we see each other, we know what we look like. I get it that some people might be catfishing you, but there's a way to determine whether or not this is really the person that they say they are. You have some some conversation, some back and forth. You can screen men out and women and then decide, okay, that let me take somebody to a dinner date. Because that's what I want, a dinner date, a nice atmosphere where we can sit and chat in person and see. Because you can't always feel the chemistry through the text or the telephone calls or whatever. So let's meet on a date. Make a reservation somewhere. Reser vacation <laughs> for us to have a meal in a nice place that you know we and a nice atmosphere and we're going to talk and get to know each other but no I'm not meeting for coffee I'm not this is and that's not a date this is the, it's a it's a different um it's it's a different <sighs> <laughs> because I've experienced like someone was wanting you want to take me out and spend time with me but what do you say? He didn't have. I have two stories I can tell you really quickly. Um, one, he said, "When am I going to get to court you?" Oh, I'm free this day. Okay, see you then. That's it. Okay, he didn't say well, where would you like to go? What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite food? Are you free this time? The level of the the femininity of a woman is also going to. Um, play into this as well, but I have never asked anyone out on a date. I will never ask anyone out on a date. Bumble is where you, you swipe right and then you initiate contact, but in my profile, I put I'm a feminine woman. If you are too slow to know what that means, and I don't know what to tell you, but this guy is someone that I met just out and about, um, and, uh, you know, uh, as a result, we're not going anywhere because <laughs> you, you have failed to really show that you are mas a masculine man so there's a woman on youtube now i don't want to say her name but i because i really like her i like listening to her videos she has good information but she suggests that women do coffee dates because she says don't too, don't put too much effort go like i don't that's not how i roll i'm going to put it at this and this is why i'm not going to coffee because if you take me to a five-star restaurant i'm going to show up looking appropriate well, not only that, and not putting too much effort. I like to put effort in every time I step outside For the yourself. house. Like it's not just about that person that I'm showing up it's to about your standard. have dinner. And who knows? Like we may have a bad date at that restaurant, and when we part company, I might go somewhere else and right. meet somebody who is the caliber of person that I'm interested in chit-chatting or whatever but when I go outside I like to be like all glammed up because like, you never know the gym. who you might, might meet exactly so all right so moving on Tony Tony's 50 in his profile he, he's taking a picture with a beanie on <laughs> hmm. like you're he's, grown he's trying to recapture his trying youth. to recapture your youth you got earrings in I'm not trying to be mean I'm just trying to be honest um, and I'll show you my profile because <laughs> <laughs> we're popping over here. Okay, anyway. And then and then you don't even know how to type. Don't, starting with the lowercase d, don't like a lot of BS. BS, B as an S. 
Get straight. S T R A. You are 50 years old, sir. Uh, He's <laughs> using the shorthand. No, the no straight, apostrophe. In no the apostrophe. He says straight with the eight. Straight to what ya, Y A, trying to say. No, no space. No periods. No it's a comma, grammar. But it's a, okay. No yeah, space. It's all a run on. But it's a run on sense. I don't smoke any kind of substance. I don't get mad over dumb stuff. I like to relax on downtime. Blah, blah, blah. Said he passed for ready. Is ready and. A-N. Not and. A-N. <laughs> I've been many places. I lived in Europe for five years. So I love culture over, over space seas. You don't love culture. Stop lying. And then the other hat is like. Like he's looking. Oh my God! We didn't even see. He's got a cut off. He's like a biker. Oh my Lord, Hammer! I wish I could show you this, but you can't. Really. Left. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jerry. Jerry is outgoing guy looking for a long term. Maybe I shouldn't say his name. Maybe it's just a first name. Long term. He's looking for a long term on Bumble. Ideally, she's easygoing, happy, willing to do outdoor activities, ranging, blah blah blah. He's not my, like, I would not swipe right. He is older. He looks like he travels. He looks like, you know, I would, like, he would not say, let's go to coffee. Yeah, so his profile is not so His bad. profile is not bad. bad. Yeah. Jerry, this is what you, Jerry said. I mean, not. his main picture wasn't that, like, I like that first picture to be a decent enough one yeah. to keep my interest. Like, don't right. show up in your t-shirt this, on your main profile And this picture. is all pixelated. We can't even see you, Curtis, Okay. Y'all are too old to be doing. You too old. Okay. Right. Right. Unless unless you're just playing. If you're just yeah. looking for play play, which a lot of grown yeah, a lot men of men do. are, then that's um, okay. That's that's what they're doing. I'm not. So this guy has a hoodie and looks like some slacks. Or if you hear panting, it's the dog. Um, you know what? I really let's just stop right here. So I really have one of my pet peeves is if too many of your pictures. <laughs> are in the mirror because you, know, you don't have friends or you don't know how to take a picture. I mean, come on, you can't set timer. a timer and turn mm -hmm. it around. Like, put a little effort in. So, a is that effort. is that how you would show up in a relationship? Like, you don't put effort. This is what into what happen. you're trying to do. Like, be that person that you're looking to attract. Like, put in some effort to attract the caliber of woman. Yeah, or is know. it showing me that that's the caliber of person that you are not? You're slob. You know, right. You if, if you're lazy, you don't care, you you know, half ass doing something. We you know, you can't do it halfway. Aw. And now I, I mean he looks weird, but he said I don't he's mind. a believer. So, oh, he's a believe I'm a big believer of helping neighbors in need. Aw, look. Now see. What's his name? I should swipe on him for you, Graham. Yeah, but that's your profile, not mine. And see, okay, so we're not going to, we can't say anything negative about him. His first picture, was it, now, I, there's nothing about him that attracts me, but he he has a nice, clean cut looking first picture. He looks like he's a professional. And then as you go on, you have to know he's a dog lover because he's hugged up with all these dogs. He's and agnostic. Could you deal with that if he was on your feet? Yeah, probably not. Aww. Not me. I mean, okay. that you know, we we all have. But he loves dogs. But he loves dogs. Okay. Look at that. He is That's just one up box. On his dog. That's just one box to check. It's a lot of boxes <laughs> you need to check before you swipe right. All right. Well, we gonna swipe left because this is not my cup of tea. But okay, Mister Ashtanga Yogi. I don't put anything about like yoga or but or fit. I mean, but you can tell him fit. Uh, Multi-dimensional hey. Renaissance gentleman. I do all my own stunts. Peanut butter jelly. Look, peanut butter looking for jelly. Let's make sweet music. That's the dog. I'm sorry. No, I'm just thinking of this is a weird problem. Yeah, it's weird because he's is weird. He's, but uh, he might attract a weirdo like him. Well, no, okay, and weird is not bad. I'm weird. I'm just saying. Left. Philip is a nurse and he's 56. What'd you do? Go feed him. I think that's what he wants. We got pause. Be right back.